What's up, everybody? It's your host and the most DJ NWMI. Want to say like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't forget to hit that bell so you know next time we have a video. All right, y'all must forgive me. As you know, my mom had died last month, and then also had another loved one died. So it's been personally been a bit tragic situation going on, but it's all right. No excuses. We still out here. We still doing it. And I also want you to follow my other channel, KIR Podcast, and then link in the description below. Check us out. All right, for this video, we're going to talk about it. We're going to think about it. And we're going to say, how is your safety at the club? Let's talk about it. Woo! I'm back. All right. So let's, before we slide into that, how you follow me on social media? Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Snapchat. You can follow me on Twitter. DJ NWMI. All right. So let's talk about a topic that I don't believe that DJs talk about a lot, especially I noticed that today is Sunday. Check the date on it. June 13th. Something we have to discuss. Last night, I had a friend or two get shot at the club after a DJ gig. So I want to discuss this. DJs, how you feel about going to the club? Now we know the club has a lot of different things that are glorious and hard. Oh, then we got a lot of things that are real like, for real? How you feel at the club? Do you feel like you, you know, you're safe while you're there? Do you feel like security got your back? Do you feel like at the club that you DJ, they always fight? Do you have to change the music or the tone? Because when you play certain songs, people want to set it off. You have to slow it down so fellas can grab a lady just so they can calm all that testosterone down. I mean, you tell me. Because as we know, and if you DJ a lot of different clubs, sometimes things can get out of hand. Fights happen, people get to drinking. Don't just sit there and make room for the drunk mother suckers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love that line because it's true. Alcohol and clubs go hand in hand. And as I know, some DJ's friends be lit, fit, darn show ain't taking no, you know the rest, why they DJing. Someone makes it feel better because they got that tough guy juice and they out there getting it. And some other DJs just, nah, it ain't my thing, bro. You know, I'm older now, I'm smart, I'm wiser, it just ain't me. I feel like my skills ain't that sober. Why my skills got to be that drunk? Again, I'm not saying that is you. I'm just saying everybody is different. My thoughts are, or my question would be in the comment section below, DJs, how many of y'all, while you've been DJing, fights have broken out? Matter of fact, DJs, how many of y'all have been at the club DJing and all of a sudden shootings break out? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up because the homie got shot, you know, and it's like you came in to do your part, do your gig, and all of a sudden, bam, bam, bam. You innocent bystander like Cat Williams, and before you know it, hold up, Jesus, don't take me now. He hit on the ground with his computer. Everything dropped on the ground, bleeding, walking out, wrong place, wrong time. I know y'all gonna say that can happen anywhere, but at the club sometimes, seems like this sometimes is starting to occur more frequently. And not everybody's getting out. My question is, do you feel safe while you DJ? Do you feel safe at the club that you work at? I mean, something to, you know, fool the thought, you know, because I know everybody's saying they want to be a club DJ well renowned, but the reality of the situation is sometimes you got to do places, I hate to say it, but some hole in the walls that you have to DJ at because you're trying to get your name out there and go to find out shooting has occurred. How's your safety? Was it worth it? Did you get paid? You know, you're the opening DJ, all of a sudden they want you to stay for an extra two more hours they only want to slide you $200. Well, you know the headlining DJ every night walk off with $1,400. I mean, you know, it's a lot of different things. that pros going to the club, cons going to the club. Sometimes you got to slow that music down because you know some of them, they about to set it off. They're a little too hyped up, a little too amped up. Don't get it twisted. You know you want your hype amped. You want everybody to be out there bumping, do what they do. But in the same token, do you want them fighting? Do you want them knocking the ladies down to the side? Do you want to take bottles? What? Well, some clubs don't need loud bottles. They pour it in the cup now because of people doing stupid stuff. So my question is safety. Are you safe or do you feel safe at the club that you're working at? Comment section below. Let me know. Well, that's all right. Could have been anyone else but decided to hang out with me. I just want to know how you feel about safety. Got another video coming out 
almost right after this one. That's right, this week is gonna be two videos because we're gonna try to catch up what we need to catch up on. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapperat, AKA Snapchat. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell. Catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there. I'm out.